Hello my friends and welcome back. And no, that is not just a catchy title for this video. And no, I have not lost all my good senses. And yes, when using side imaging, I do prefer using the 455 kilohertz over the 800 kilohertz and even over the mega in certain situations. And I'm sure after this video, you will be using that 455 kilohertz on side imaging a lot more often, all right? So hang in there and let's get this side imaging series started. All right, folks, the reason I said I like using the 455 kilohertz in certain situations, them situations are when I'm looking for new structure to fish or if I go out to a new lake that I do not know what I want to do is I want to cover a lot of water fast I want to find the structure quick and fast so I can start fishing and the best way to do that is to not only kick your boat speed up to five and six and kick that side imaging out to 90 and 100 feet both sides of the boat and go and the only way you can do that is in 455 kilohertz okay uh, you can't do that in the 800 kilohertz or the mega you can only do that with 455 kilohertz and the reason being is when when you set it at 455 kilohertz the pulses that come out each pulse is thick it's meaty it's it's got some oomph to it okay but the problem is, is they're far apart between each pulse. There's a lag, okay? They don't come out quickly. They're thick, they're meaty, but they're far apart. So any object that it hits close to the boat, you'll get a pretty decent uh, image out of it. It won't be crisp, clean, clear, you know, like a mega or something like that. And it, and like with everything else, a sound wave, any, any kind of wave, pulse, it will dissipate start dissipating as it goes further out but it goes out because they are so thick and so meaty they go out a whole lot further that's why you can go out 90 and 100 feet okay now you're not going to get a good image out here way out here you know 40 50 60 70 80 90 feet away from the boat but you will be able to see the shadow from the object that the pulse is hitting and the echo's coming back. Now, the echo, there, there won't be enough meat coming back where you can see the image or the object, but the shadow, you will be able to see that shadow. Now, the 800 kilohertz, okay? This is my interpretation, my drawing of the 800 kilohertz. The 800 kilohertz, they're not as thick, but they are closer together. So there's more pulses going out, okay? So any object that it hits, the echo coming back will be clearer than the 455 kilohertz. Only problem is, is it, they too dissipate, just like any other pulse or wave, it dissipates as it goes out. And since they're not as thick coming out, you cannot go out as far. So you cannot put it out at 80, 90, 100 feet either side of the boat and expect to do the get you know a, a good shadow image as the 455 kilohertz but an object up closer will it will give you better echo better picture now the mega oh my goodness the mega this is my this is what what i'm saying the mega looks like here them little suckers they're thin but they're real close together i mean they're close together and any object that you hit you know, it's only good out to about, I'd say, 30 feet, and that's pushing it. To me, that that's pushing it. I only use it, you know, 20, 25 feet. Uh, but the image that you get back, because there are so many uh, pulses going out so quickly that any image that you get within that 20 feet, 25 feet, it, I mean, the detail is going to be absolutely fantastic. The detail will be great, okay? But... Like I said, the distance on Omega, forget about it. You know, if you're trying to if you're trying to cover water and find stuff, 
quickly, then you don't even attempt it with a mega. This is only to get good, this is only to get good, crisp pictures. Okay, I'm putting a pause to this and redoing a little shoot here. Uh, you can go out further than 30 feet. You can see objects on Mega out to, uh, you know, 30, 40, 45 feet, 50 feet, but they're not going to be very crisp. They're not going to be that crisp, you know, what Mega, what when people think of Mega, Chirp, uh, imaging, it's not going to show you that very, really clear image. But yes, you can go out 30, 40, 50 feet. You know, not a problem, even at 30 feet, most of the images are going to be pretty good, okay? But not they're not going to be what people think a mega image should be. You can see stuff. I've, I've played around. I've got, you know, I do have footage of side imaging, and <clears throat> but I'm not going to put it on here because it goes against everything I'm saying here because I was out, but what I was doing was I was out 90 feet and I had the I had, had it set on mega and I was trying to see how far out you could see. Now, I ran it really hot. I turned that sensitivity way up there and it put it out there, but it was it was running real, I mean, the, the picture was hot. So there's no need to do that when you can just put it in the 455 kilohertz and run it that way, okay? You uh, you can't get out with the Mega out to 90 feet, but you can get out there. You can see as far as maybe 70, maybe even 75, 80 feet. Uh, but that's running it really hot. I mean, that's cranking that sen sensitivity way up there. And there's no need for that when you can see better pictures with the 455 or just as good a picture as running 455 and see further out. So that's why, you know, I say... You, don't want to do it with the Mega. You can do it, but you don't want to do it with the 455 or even the 800. You'll have to run the 800 hot too, but with the 455, you won't have to run it hot. You won't have to turn the sensitivity up like you do with the 800 kilohertz or the, or the Mega. Just needed to throw this in there. Now back to our regularly scheduled program. Okay, now a, a tip here. Guys that are running, you fellas that are running these uh, five inch screens, you can still, when you want to find something, you know, brush pile, uh, timber, rock piles, boulders, concrete slabs, whatever you want to look for to, to fish, any kind of structure you want to find a fish, you can still use that 455 kilohertz, okay, to do it. But like I said, so run your your boat speed up to about five or six cover water and send that send them beams out you know uh, 90 feet either side of the boat but what you need to do boat speed five or six but your chart speed you know how everybody always says run match your chart speed to your boat speed no sir not in this situation and not in any situation as far as you well there's one situation but for you guys that are looking at five inch screens, okay? Run your boat speed when you're looking for stuff at five miles an hour, six miles an hour, but your chart speed, kick it up to eight or nine. Stretch that screen out. The reason being is you guys that are, you know, running in five inch screens, if you've ever looked at bridge pillars and you're running like three miles an hour and your chart speed's three miles an hour, everybody says, you know, perfect picture, you know, match, match chart speed, boat speed, and you go buy one of them huge, big old fat, three foot, four foot round, five foot diameter bridge pillars. They look like this going across your screen. Real thin, real, you know, they're, they're pretty much hard to see. They're, they look thinner than this, really. But this is just, you know, uh, they can look like this. But if you speed up, keep that boat speed at three. If you're like looking, if you want to look at something, you know, close up, keep your boat speed at three. But turn your chart speed up to about six or seven. And instead of seeing this going across your screen, by spreading that screen out, it will look like this going across the screen. Okay? And any little white dots that are right here, it's going to stretch them white dots too. That them white dots you know are fish. So it's going to stretch them so they too will be easier to, to see. Now, uh, they say when you're looking at brush piles to get the best picture, Yes, 
you want to match chart speed and, and your boat speed. That way you can see the little limbs and everything, but you can still kick that chart speed up a couple of notches and it will spread it out and you still will be able to see the fish in there. Okay, if you're running at 800 kilohertz, you know, uh, you won't have the mega, but you can run at 800 kilohertz when you're up close to it and go ahead and, and, and you know, the tip is run your chart speed up just a little faster than your boat speed. Okay. Now, for anybody that is out 80, 90 feet, you're not going to be able to see. You're not going to be able to see objects that far away, especially with, with, with you know, mega, 800, whatever, or 455. You're not going to be able to, you know, like I said, up close, you get a pretty decent picture. Out here, you're not going to get a decent picture. You're like, well, Jesse, what the heck am I looking at for? I'm not going to get a good picture of the object. No, 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 no. What you're looking for that far out is, oh, let me see, get it right, right there, just, yeah, 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 the shadow, okay? You won't be able to see this, but you'll be able to see the shadow that it leaves. That shadow will tell you everything. And, and, and also, even guys running the mega, even me, if, I'm, if I think I see some out there, I'll stretch my screen out. I'll turn that chart speed up a couple clicks, and what it does is it will stretch it. Even with a 10-inch screen, it will stretch it out a little bit, and you will be able to see that shadow a little better. Now, especially you guys in 5-inch screens, way out there, 80, 90 feet, 70 feet, man, you talk about it. Look, you know, if you see a tree sitting out there in the shadow, you know, you're not going to see the tree. Even with a mega, you're not going to see the tree out there. You know, with four, uh, 10 inch screen, I mean, you're not going to see the tree out there. You, and it's going to look like a little bitty shadow. But if you run that chart speed a little faster, it'll stretch that shadow out where you will be able to identify it a lot easier. And then get over there and put a mark. Now, when you mark it, remember, this is another tip. Okay, folks, if you want to mark way out, like I said, if you will stretch that screen out, you look out right part of the screen, which is going on the right side of the boat, and you see a shadow way out there. Like I said, if you will speed that screen up a little bit, it will stretch that shadow out like that, give you a better view. Okay, now if you want to mark it, do not put your crosshair out here in the shadow, out here. Come, if, if, it's on, if that shadow is on the right-hand side of your boat, you want to put your crosshairs at the bottom of that shadow, closest to the boat, okay? Now, if it's on the left side, you want to do it closest to the boat on, 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 on that side. But if, you, if you're on the right-hand side, looking at the right-hand side, at a shadow on the right-hand side, put your crosshair right there at the bottom of that. Don't put it out here. Put it right here. That's where that structure is going to be at, right there at the bottom of, that, uh, of, the, of the shadow, and just hit a waypoint right there. Okay, that's the way to do that. But anyway, hey, uh, I hopefully I didn't confuse anybody because I'm halfway confused over here. I know what I'm trying to say, but to say it and you know, get it from here to here to y'all is. But anyway, I'm trying, fellas. I'm trying. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Hey, and and if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so I can confuse y'all some more. All right. And hit that, uh, hit that little bell icon there so it'll tell you when I do upload a video to, to uh, mess with your head. But anyway, hey, I hope I did help somebody. I hope uh, I helped somebody understand why you would use a 455 kilohertz. You know, even the guys that are running, uh, us guys that we run megas, the 455 kilohertz when you're trying to locate uh, something to fish. That's the way to go, 455 kilohertz, okay? And remember, look for shadows. Don't look for the objects way far out, away from the boat. Look for them shadows, not the objects, okay? Hey, leave me a comment. If y'all got any questions, you know, leave them down in that comment. Thank y'all for watching. God bless y'all. Have a great one.